What's up guys? Welcome to Kiboski Tutorial and today we're going to learn about smart image based lighting. So what is smart image based lighting? Well basically the idea of it is our objects will get the lights from an image. Usually we are using HDRI file. So if you're wondering where to get a HDRI file just go to your Google then just type in HDR labs archive and the first link that's going to pop out just click it and then you will be directed to hdrlabs.com and you can there are a lot of HDR files to choose from very high resolution HDRI and just all you have to do is to left click and your uh, HDR file will be downloaded in no time so minimize and so let's take a look at what are we going to be making yeah. so this is a simple rendered scene using a smart image based lighting so our objects our object here is a car which is getting a final gathering and it is also getting a reflection which is coming from the environment so we can use this technique to have a semi-realistic render with just a simple few clicks of a button so to create a smart image based lighting let's start let's minimize we have a simple scene so all we have to do is to create a simple plane polygon plane next just go to your camera setting which is the camera icon here and then just scroll all the way down and the render that we're going to use a is a metal ray so for the lens shader just left, left click the option box and then type in MIA underscore exposure exposure simple so what this does is my exposure simple is just a tone mapping so by default uh, we don't have to change the the settings or the values and then for the environment shader just left click and then type in MIP underscore ray switch ray switch so by default this ray switch is not yet activated but there are certain techniques for it to be activated just go to your um, local C Program files, Autodesk, Mental Ray for Maya 2015, scripts, and then in the search bar, just type in Asterisk Custom, and then right click Mental Ray Custom Node class, open with Notepad. But it is much better to use a Notepad, and then Control F shortcut for find and then type in MIP find next and just try to look for enable MIP shaders so by default as I said before it is not yet activated so most likely he will be getting a zero value here so just change that to one and then control s shortcut for save and then if your Maya is already open, just close your Maya and then reopen and your MIP shader will be activated. So let's close this, then let's go back, re-switch, left click, and then the re-switch settings. So first, click the final gather option box and then type in MIB underscore lookup spherical then texture image name and then uh, these are the files that I downloaded from HDR labs archive so for the final gather we will choose env.hdrr for our environment so basically our final gathering will be our lighting where our soft shadow will come from so let's go back to our final gather let's change the name to lighting next re-switch again and then for the reflection 
look of spherical again, texture, image name, and then 3K.HDRI, HDR rather, and then go to your environment shader, then go to your windows rendering hyper shade. nodes so there we go look up just change this to reflection reflection then left click re-switch and then for the reflection just middle mouse button press and hold just drag it to environment so we are using input and output connection so that our node our nodes are organized Next, for a refraction, look up spherical texture image name. And then we will use our JPEG HDRI file. Open. Press your newly created spherical. Then change the name to background. Then left click, reswitch, input and output connections. And then for our background, just middle mouse button, drag it to eye and transparent. So minimize, and then go to your render settings, indirect lighting. So we need a final gathering, so check this. Secondary diffuse bounces, change the value to, to 2 so that the lights will bounce twice so it will be softer. So for the final gathering tracing, final gather mode, change this to optimize for animation. So that even if you have a animation in your, in your scene, the final gathering will still kick in. So for the quality tab, filter, change it to box, reflex, re reflections, change it to five, refractions five, and max trace depth, change it to 10. And then go to your common tab and then go to your render options change this to uh, enable default light and check this because uh, we don't need our default light because our light will come from our image so close this and then let's try to render so what we have here is the environment but the problem is it is overly exposed so let's close this let's open up our hyper shade again then we will add a gamma gain. Uh, this is the texture that will fix our overly exposed environment. So gamma, just change this to 0.5. And then we need a connection from background to gamma gain so that it will be fixed. So to do that, we're going to have to break connection. Uh, from background to ray switch, we're gonna have to uh, click or uh, press the line that is connecting background and ray switch. And then left click gamma game, and for our background, just middle mouse button, press and hold, drag it to input so that they will be connected. And for our ray switch, as you can see, refractions is empty because. Uh, background uh, there's no connection between background and research anymore so what we can do is to middle mass button press and hold drag the gamma gain to I transparent and refraction and press ray switch input and output connection minimize and let's try to render so uh, that fixed our problem the gamma gain now we have a decent looking environment so all we have to do is to get rid of this uh, ground plane so let's close this so bring out our hyper shade again and then look for match shadow left click and then we need a connection between ray switch and match shadow so all we have to do is to middle mouse button drag this to background so the idea of this is the matte shadow is getting a texture from 
race switch which is the race switch is getting a environment from our background our lighting which is the file gather and the reflection so input and output connection then let's see what happens we don't have we don't have any uh, changes in our in our render because we haven't applied the texture yet so uh, mad shadow assign material to selection then let's try this one more time so there you go as you can see the ground plane uh, the ground plane is is not visible anymore so uh, all we have to do is to try it out on a object so let's scale this a little bit wider and then let's bring out our object which is in my case a simple car and this car I textured it using a Lambert a blend Lambert and blend and then let's try to render this out let's scale this a little bit more and let's try to get a nice angle and then let's try to render it so there we go our object is getting a reflection from from our environment and plus it is getting a final gathering which is adds a little more realism to our render so smart image based lighting is very very efficient to use plus it is uh, the render time will be uh, is quick so as you can see here uh, I rendered a semi semi realistic look just for eight seconds so there you go enjoy using smart image based lighting thank you for watching if you like uh, what you've watched just press the like button and I and I will appreciate that so much so again thank you for watching see ya